It was the winter of 1986, a chilling night in Berlin that would forever haunt my dreams. The air was so cold, it pierced through my skin, leaving a trail of goosebumps in its wake. We had just returned from a seemingly innocent vacation in Mexico, but little did we know that the shadows that lurked there would follow us back home. Our family, once intact, now broken after the tragic loss of my husband three years ago in a car crash, left to raise our daughter, Emily, on my own, the burden of grief weighed heavily on my shoulders. Little did I know that the real nightmare was yet to unfold. The first signs of the horror that awaited us manifested on that fateful night. It was 3 a.m. when strange tremors shook our house, as if the very foundation of our lives was being tested. I rushed to Emily's room, only to find her convulsing on the bed, her eyes glazed over with an unnatural emptiness. The memories of the exorcist's arrival, a man in priestly robes, flashed through my mind like a nightmare on repeat. He performed rituals that echoed the horrors of the exorcist movie from years before. But as the exorcism progressed, the tremors intensified and the atmosphere grew thick with an unholy presence. Just as the exorcist neared the end of his ritual, a deafening silence engulfed the room. In an instant, he vanished, leaving nothing but a cold breeze in his wake. Panic set in, and the realization hit us like a freight train. The demon was not banished, it had merely hidden in the shadows. As we grappled with the aftermath, I discovered a series of unsettling events that unfolded in Mexico. Emily had stumbled upon an ancient relic during our vacation, a cursed artifact that had become a conduit for the demonic forces that now possessed her. The lightning strikes we witnessed in Berlin were not natural. They were manifestations of the demon's psychic powers. In a desperate attempt to free my daughter, I confronted the entity, pleading, bargaining, and even resorting to threats. I screamed, leave her, take me instead. But the demon merely laughed through Emily's twisted, contorted mouth. Night after night, the horror escalated. Emily's possessed from sought to destroy us, her once innocent eyes now glowing with malevolence. We ran through the darkened streets of Berlin, chased by the relentless demon that lurked within our own flesh and blood. As we sought refuge, the chilling reality set in the demon was not bound by the laws of time and space. It whispered promises of torment, taunting us with its omnipresence. The walls seemed to close in on us, and every corner hid the lurking darkness that threatened to consume our souls. The climax reached its peak on a desolate street corner. Emily, now a vessel for the demon's insatiable hunger, cornered us with a malevolent grin. The air crackled with an otherworldly energy as the demon spoke through her, revealing a plot twist that shattered the fragments of my sanity. You were never meant to escape. This was never about Emily. It was about you. It hissed with a voice that seemed to echo from the depths of hell. As the demon lunged towards us, the world around me blurred into chaos. The last thing I remember is the sound of demonic laughter and the sensation of being swallowed by an abyss. Now, I find myself in an eerie void, the shadows dancing around me like mocking spectres. The nightmare persists, and the chilling laughter echoes in the emptiness. Is this the afterlife, or is it another layer of the demonic realm, as I navigate around the surreal void? searching for answers and a way to escape the clutches of the malevolent force that continues to haunt my existence. The air is thick with uncertainty and the whispers in the shadows persist, revealing a truth more terrifying than the demon itself. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.